everyone and welcome back. I bet this for you TV. We are back again here to give you some more tips as there is a packed Sunday uh, coming up. There is a lot of football, a lot of leagues that needs to be decided, a lot of situations like top four and relegation battles that has to be defined. So there are plenty of betting opportunities and uh, in our show today we will uh, provide a bet of the day from our expertise at Betting for You TV at quarter. We will then add to our Premier League expert Robbie Billund that will give us the tips on the Premier League before going to Italy uh, as our local expert Lucas Emproni will give us tips on the Serie A and La Liga. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is to click on the subscribe button and also hit the bell as that will allow you to get notifications every time a new video is released released. If you like some of the bets that are present in this show, all you need to do is to check in the description below as we have placed all the links that will load those bets directly on the bookmakers accounts. In this way you will save time, you will, you will ensure that you get our uh, tips uh, backed correctly, but also you will get probably the best odds as we do select bookmakers that have the best possible odds for our tips. Obviously odds are always subject to change, so double check them before betting. Uh, let's now move on to our uh, first bet and uh, the first bet is coming from our expert here event is for you TV at quarter and it's on the uh, League 1. We had very good success in the last uh, few weeks betting on the League 1, League 1, uh, Fr French, French League 1 and we are trying to do the same this time and we are backing uh, Lyon to win uh, with one goal handicap against Nîmes. So Nîmes managed to get a 3-0 win against Mets in the last uh, weekend and uh, they are still uh, fighting to avoid relegations. Uh, however, the situation is pretty desperate as there are three points adrift from safety which on, with only two uh, games left to play, one of which is obviously against Lyon, which is a very strong team. So they definitely cannot afford to lose more points, but uh, it will be very, 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 very difficult for them as they will take on a Lyon side who are coming into this match in great form that once they want to put pressure on the top three and in the last weekend they managed to get a comfortable 4-1 win against Lorian. At the moment, as I said, they, set in, they sit in fourth place but they are just a point behind Monaco so for them the situation is still open and they will be motivated. Also, they have a very good tradition against Nîmes, they have won three of the last four games and also it's interesting to see that they have managed to keep a clean sheet in three of those encounters. So they know how to shut down uh, Nîmes' attack and uh, um, we believe that uh, they will be able to extend probably this trend even further this weekend. So with Lyon that are the team in form uh, that uh, um, is difficult to see anything different from a Lyon win even if Nîmes will try what they can as they need points to avoid uh, relegation. But uh, Nîmes have won, uh, Lyon have won four of the last six matches in all competition and despite Nîmes have won in the last match they are without a win in the last five home games at the Stade de Costières. So at home they are struggling and uh, we do believe that Lyon have the quality to win uh, with a decent margin. That's why we're going for minus one, especially as they have been very solid in defence when they played Nîmes in recent times. Lyon also have scored at least two goals in five of the last six matches. So we do expect them to score two or three, especially you know, with Nîmes uh, that might uh, lose confidence and motivations if things are starting to go wrong for them as they have three points at Reef Safety with only two games to go. So if they lose this one, if they see that they have no opportunity to win in this match, it could be that the second time they they start to, uh, their motivation and uh, confidence will, will go down. So Lyon can score even more. So Lyon to win one goal handicap is our uh, bet of the day for Sunday. But now let's go on to our Premier League expert, Rob Billund, that will give us the tips on the Premier League for Sunday. Robin, that's over to you. Hi guys, we are back again and it's time to look ahead of the Premier League Sunday where we have some very interesting fixtures. It is a weekend where some of the teams uh, are not playing. They have already played the game here in round 36. We have some teams that will play the FA Cup final. So it's a chance for a few of those other teams to take three important points as they have a game in hand here and can climb in the table. We are now entering the final stages. We have this 
a round that ends here on Sunday and Monday and then we go straight into a midweek and then we have the final weekend of Premier League next week. So it's interesting times, it's important times for many clubs and on Sunday we will see both Liverpool, Everton and Spurs up in games where they need to take three points, they need to win those games. Liverpool are now in a situation that if they win their three remaining games, they will go into the Champions League next season. More or less a 100% at the moment. There is a slight chance of something mathematically with some goal difference. But as long as they win, it should not be a problem for them. They have West Brom, they have Burnley and Crystal Palace coming up. But of course, it all starts on Sunday. They need to take the first three points at the Hall Torrens as they play West Brom, which you are relegated now. And Liverpool, of course, they hope to build on the win they took on Thursday night at Old Trafford. So what we have done for Sunday is that we have looked into all those three games. Spurs against Wolves, Liverpool away to West Brom and Everton at home to Sheffield United. And our Sunday treble is that Liverpool, Spurs and Everton all scores over 1.5 goals. This is must win games for those teams. They cannot lose the points here. Uh, it's no situation where you could be quite happy with a draw or anything like that. You have to go all out attack for the win. And uh, Liverpool of course boosted by four goals against Man United. Uh, everyone in that front three uh, club decided to pick uh, Jota, Firmino and Salah. Uh, Bobby Firmino even scoring two goals, but all of the three scored. And that's, of course, very important. Something to build on here on Sunday. Uh, we know that Spurs, they have the strength in Son, Bale, Kane. There are a lot of goal scorers in that side. Wolves, they have nothing to play for at the moment. And uh, Everton... They should take the chance here. They are up against Sheffield United, the worst team, probably actually one of the worst teams this Premier League has ever seen. They have been so poor this season. They are conceding to any opponent and Everton has to take that chance. They are still in the race for a Europa League place and uh, they have to add three points. They have to add some goals. Probably Dominic Calvert-Lewin wants to end this season on a high as well. So our Sunday treble for the Premier League is Spurs, Liverpool and Everton to all score over 1.5 goals in their games on Sunday. We put a medium stake on that and I think that's a um, good value bet to have with you uh, for the Sunday uh, when we watch all those uh, great games that we have ahead of us. So... Good luck with your betting, be responsible, and I'll uh, speak to you soon again. Thank you very much, Robin, and let's hope that we can get more winning bets. Robin has been in great form and has managed to win uh, some bets or also during this week, uh, as uh, the biggest one that I can remember is Leicester to win uh, against Manchester United away from home, and that was paid, uh, that was paid a nice uh, three times the money. Now we have more tips coming uh, from Italy and we are going straight away to our local expert Luca Semproni that will give us the tips on the Spanish La Liga and the Serie A. You can see that Luca is connected with us. So Luca, that's over to you. Come al solito, un saluto a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betty Tips for You. Oggi vi voglio proporre una tripla con due partite del campionato italiano e una del campionato spagnolo. Per il campionato italiano voglio scommettere su Fiorentina Napoli over 2-5. La Fiorentina viene da due vittorie e tre pareggi nelle ultime cinque. Nell'ultimo del campionato uno scialbo 0-0 a Cagliari. Perché? Perché la Fiorentina ormai è salva, quindi non ha nulla da chiedere più al campionato. Il Napoli invece quattro vittorie e un pareggio nelle ultime cinque. Nell'ultima di campionato 5-1, roboante, importante, in casa con l'Udinese. L'altra partita, nella penultima invece partita, aveva vinto 4-1 alla Spezia. È una squadra in ottima forma che ha ritrovato tutti i suoi attaccanti, in particolare Osimen, che è veramente un giocatore importante. Tant'è vero che il Napoli, 83 gol fatti, è il secondo miglior attacco della Serie A. E il Napoli appunto deve vincere perché, come abbiamo detto altre volte, deve, andare, deve mantenere la, 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 la quarta posizione nella zona Champions. 
e, e quindi deve vincere, perciò aspettiamo comunque una partita con Golland perché la stessa Fiorentina è una squadra comunque che segna a Vlaovic che qui abbiamo consigliato tante volte in grandissima forma quindi ci aspettiamo una partita con gol perciò ripeto Fiorentina-Napoli over 2-5 la seconda partita sulla quale voglio scommettere è Parma-Sassuolo 2 il Parma 5 sconfitte di fila è ultimo in classifica un campionato ormai da dimenticare c'è solo da ripartire il prossimo anno perché questo è stato disastroso addirittura appunto è ultimo in classifica superato dal Crotone il Sassuolo invece una sconfitta tre vittorie e un pareggio nelle ultime 5 nell'ultima di campionato ha perso 3 a 1 in casa con la Juve pur non demeritando perché ricordiamoci che sullo 0 0 Berardi aveva sbagliato un rigore deve vincere per guantare il settimo posto che ha oggi occupato dalla Roma e vogliamo fare questa giocata anche perché il Sassuolo è una squadra che ha ottenuto più punti fuori casa che in casa infatti fuori casa ha ottenuto 30 punti eh, in casa 26 eh, è una squadra quindi che gioca meglio eh, fuori casa e come dicevamo deve vincere contro una squadra il Parma che non ha nulla da chiedere al campionato ecco perché vogliamo scommettere Parma-Sassuolo 2 l'ultima partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Betis-Uesca under 2 e 5 il Betis 4 pareggi e una vittoria nelle ultime 5 viene dall'1-1 con le bar che avevamo pronosticato qui su Betty Tips for You che è risultato eh, vincente nelle, vogliamo fare questa giocata perché il Betis, nelle partite del Betis, per 8 volte nelle ultime 10 partite è uscito l'Under 2 e 5. L'Uesca 2 vittorie e 3 sconfitte nelle ultime 5, eh, l'ultima ha vinto 1-0 alla di Bilbao, lotta per non retrocedere, ad oggi sarebbe salvo. Anche qui però nelle partite dell'Uesca... 7 volte nelle ultime 9 partite è uscito l'Under 2 e 5 ecco perché vogliamo scommettere Betis Uesca Under 2 e 5 voglio dare un livello di confidenza 3 a questa giocata perché come ho detto tante volte ci sono buone probabilità di successo ma è pur sempre una tripa nel ricordarvi di giocare responsabilmente auguro un buon calcio a tutti e ridotti la linea Simone ciao a tutti Thank you very much, Luca, and let's hope that we can get more winning tips coming from you. Luca has been in great, great form, as at a, and we always tip the bets uh, delivered by our experts, as we know that they put a lot of effort into those bets, and we do trust them uh, in, in fully, as they have a great experience in the market that they tipped, and uh, by also tipping our own uh, bets, uh, we are uh, uh, betting our own tips. We are actually... Uh, achieving a lot of wins as you can see on our uh, website bendisforyou.com if you navigate to the section bendisforyou tv so we tip we back our tips for two reasons one is that they are um, normally uh, of great uh, success but also uh, we want to give you the confidence as we free tip our own uh, if you back our own tips that means that we do believe in them and we believe that are of the greatest quality possible So that's all for today. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell as that will allow you to get notifications every time we post a new video. Also, if you like the show or if you manage to get you to win some bets, please put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to grow the channel even further. And last but not least, if you haven't, uh, um, if you like some of the tips that we give in this show, all you need to do is to check in the description below as we've placed all the links that will load the bets directly on the bookmakers accounts. In this way, you will save time, make sure you back our tips correctly, but also normally get a better return if we manage to win the tips, as uh, we always select bookmakers that have the best odds. Obviously, odds are subject to change, so double check them before betting. That's all for today. I hope you're going to have a great a super Sunday. I wish you great luck if you decide to play some bets. But most importantly, always, always remember to gamble responsibly. Bye now. I'll see you soon.